Are you looking at Jarvis? Okay, um, let's look at <coughs> this question. First, okay, and um, notice I'm not going to look at this one too fast, okay? I'm just going to look at one part. Remember, we're looking at all forensic one shot, okay? And I'm using the search function in there to identify everything. Got it? Okay. So, <coughs> Your firm also performs audit of Jarvis Co, a company which installs windows. Jarvis uses sales rep and makes direct sales to customers. Sales rep earns small salary and earns a sales commission on 20% of their sales that they generate. Jarvis sales managers discover one of the sales representatives has been operating a fraud which has been submitting false claims for sales commissions based on non-existent sales. Sales rep started to work on Jarvis in January 2002. The forensic investigation department of your firm has been engaged to quantify the fraud. Okay, recommend procedures that should be used in forensic investigation to quantify the fraud. Now, this is quite regular type of exam question. Okay, so we're going to now take this question called Jarvis. Question number what? So we're doing forensics in a while first. So Jarvis is question number fifty-five. Yes or not? Okay. And they ask you for procedures to quantify all the fraud, yes or not? What are the procedures? Well, things that you should pay attention. Remember, I did tell you the five steps. What's the five steps? Data, features, problem, yes or not? Did I go through that one with you? Yes, right? So we look at the features. What are the features here? The features here is um, sales commission 20%. Okay. One of the sales rep. Fraud. Okay. Submit false claim for sales commission. Sales rep started to work in January 2002. Right. So let's go through this part. Obtain all the claims made by this sales
Now the above is procedures to quantify the fraud. So let me give you the process flow of this fraud. The fraud goes like this. This is the salesperson. What did they discover right now? Does that make sense? Okay, before I go on, <clears throat> what are the factors that contribute to fraud? What else? Now that's opportunity. What are things causes fraud to occur? That's all you have to tell me. You might have motive, you might have huh? Does that make sense? Clear and okay. Uh, you might get an exam question where you are asked to recommend controls to prevent fraud. That might be an exam question this time, and I suspect. Okay. So if you have a forensic question this time, one that has not come out yet. What do you do in this case?
clear not clear Are you okay? Can right? Um, I've handled opportunity fraud. Is there any incentive to do the fraud? Well, I'm not going to touch incentive, but the idea here is you may have to recommend controls to manage fraud. If you're going to recommend controls to manage fraud, you use the three headers. Clear? Not clear. Can I? <clears throat> okay. Can I move out of this one? Do you understand what the examiner might ask you? Because there's one question called, what are the preventions that you have to recommend? Clear, not clear. Are we okay? Right, let's move on. Okay. Okay. Let me just look for forensics again. Uh, what's the next forensics we can go for? I think we can look for... We'll go for this one. 